proportional meta-analysis is a single group meta-analysis. Meta-analysis is a statistical method that is performed by combining data extracted from uh, several independent research studies. Those studies had already been published and their finding has been uh, published and the, their uh, results are combined um, and then analyzed in a meta-analysis uh, method to calculate the overall or the pooled estimate of the effect size for these uh, studies that addressing the same specific clinical or medical or research question. The meta-analysis will also um, assess the heterogeneity between the results from those independent studies and will also produce a forest plot. A forest plot is just a diagram or a chart that displays the summary or the outcome of the meta-analysis. It consists of three sections. The first section is descriptive statistics. The second section is the uh, diagrammatic representation of the descriptive statistics. And the third section is the uh, estimate of the overall effect size with p-value and heterogeneity test if you find this video useful do subscribe to the channel leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clips and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. So what is single group meta-analysis? It is a meta-analysis with a study design including only one group and no control group for comparison. And that's why it's called single group meta-analysis. Proportional meta-analysis is one type of a single group meta-analysis. It is a statistical method used in meta-analysis that combines results from multiple studies that report proportions or rates. So it does calculate the pooled overall estimate of the proportion or rate from those several independent study that addressing the same scientific research question. The data for performing proportional meta-analysis can be any binary uh, outcome or dichotomous or categorical data such as the presence or absence of a particular condition that is reported in either a proportion, a fraction, a percentage, or a rate of occurrence uh, that can be included in the proportional meta-analysis. So the data can be proportion, fraction, percentage, or rates. The proportional meta-analysis is commonly used for the analysis of prevalence and incidence of a condition or a disease in population. Here in this slide, I had inserted a table that contain data for 12 studies. Those data are investigating the incidence or the prevalence of a specific condition in a population. 
and the uh, number of cases reported is given here in the column labeled as event and the total number of participants in each uh, study is given here so for this uh, um, studies there are 12 studies they all addressing the same scientific research question and the data here collected from each study is reported in a proportion or it can be in a percentage so the outcome here is proportion once the meta-analysis is performed uh, proportional meta-analysis an output is generated which is a forest plot so this is a forest plot that have three sections in it the first section is a descriptive statistics the second one is diagrammatic representation and the third one is the overall estimate of the effect size and the heterogeneity test in the first section is the description of the data 12 studies the event in each study the total number of participants and the calculated proportion for each study with a 95 percent confidence interval and a weight percentage for each study based on the sample size the second part which is the diagrammatic reflection or representation of these descriptive data the red square here represent the effect size estimate which is the proportion there is a variation in the size of the square that is reflected based on the sample size or the weight percentage the horizontal line here represent the 95 percent confidence interval and the vertical line is the line for the overall or pooled effect size and the diamond shaped structure here is the um, overall estimated effect size which is the proportion i.e the pooled proportion the third section from this proportional meta-analysis output which is the forest plot is the calculated overall um, proportion which is 0.34 with 95 percent confidence interval and a heterogeneity test with an i squared value which is 70 percent and a p-value of less than 0.05 so this forest plot or diagram summarizes the output from proportional meta-analysis for all those 12 studies that are pooled to get together and the proportion calculated for each individual study and the overall proportion also is estimated. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data whether it is um, um, quantitative or qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages my contact details are given here so don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course.